It's a quickie. And in my search for polling programs, I found another one that's really good. It serves two purposes. You can do a straw poll and you can set up meetings really easily. So I'm going to go to strawpoll.com. You have to sign in if you want to schedule a meeting. You do not have to sign in if you just want to create a poll. So I'm going to log out here. I'm going to create a poll and give it a title. It doesn't need a description. I can add another one if I wish. I can share it privately only via direct link. I can allow for multiple choices, which in this case, there's no reason for it. It's either zero, one, two, three. Oh, let's say computers. Okay, so if I say allow multiple votes from one IP, that means that if you're doing it in school, you want to check this because if all the kids are in the same location, it's only going to let one kid answer. So if you're doing this in school or in the same household, then you want to allow multiple votes from one IP. Let's see, let's see what's the, set a deadline. So you can say this poll finishes at a certain time. You can add an image and uh, you could require voters to enter their name. So let's see, create poll. Irrelevant picture, but never mind. So we see how many computer computers or devices do you have in your house? Choose more than three and my name and I'll vote. And here are the results show results. Okay. In order to share this for others to vote with, you click on share and you copy this link and you can share that either in the Zoom chat or in a WhatsApp or WhatsApp is here easily. You can show a, U a QR code of this poll so that if you're doing this on Zoom, your students, if they have a computer and a smartphone, they can scan the QR code on their smartphone. There's no comments here. And then when everybody's voted, you can refresh results and show what the results are. Nobody else has voted, so I don't need that. Schedule a meeting. This is the other really good option that this program gives me, and I've used it in the very recent future. I want to talk to the coordinators that I work with, or as a teacher, I want to set aside a block of my day and say, I want to talk to as many kids one on one for 10 minutes quality time as possible. I'll do continue and I'll set it for tomorrow. I add a time. Okay, eight o'clock, that's too early. Let's say start at 10 o'clock. It only lets me do it in increments of 15 minutes, which is okay too. And add a time. So next time will be 15 until 10.30 and 11.45. And I'm going to add to all dates. So I'm going to choose another date here. And then I can add these same times to both of these days. So I've got three meetings on the 9th and three meetings on the 10th. I can add another day with all the same time slots. I can clear that day. I can add different times. I can remove that day altogether. Then we continue. 
and this is what I will share with my participants. I'll invite them to use it. So I'm good. I could write the email addresses here. And I can send that invitation or I can just share it with a link and I can send that to WhatsApp. That's the way I usually do it. And I can add comments. Uh, but for this version, I had to have signed in. So I'm going to log in. Let's see if it saves what I've done so far. Yes, it did. So I can share this the same way. And then when people start signing up, you'll start seeing their names here, one under the other, and they can tick when it is they want to have the meeting. You should state that they should only sign up. If somebody's already signed up for a time slot, that only one person per should sign up per time slot. I haven't found a way to prevent that happening automatically but it, I found it very useful. I hope you go out and try this, try the straw poll, try the setting up meetings. Think of how could you use this in your classroom? When will this be useful? They're really quick and easy tools.